Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you are a subscriber and thank you so much. My name is Marie. I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a reseller on the Poshmark app. Today I have a haul for you guys. I thrifted all of this either from the Goodwill bins or just regular thrift stores. Um, I kind of have them mixed in together, but I will let you know which pieces came from the bins just so you know. Um, I think this is a pretty fall heavy haul and I'm very excited about all these pieces so let's just get into it. Uh, I want to start with shoes because I don't have too much shoes and accessories. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you are these Picolinos. I do not love these but I do really like selling this brand. Um, Picolino seems to be like a comfort brand and they have really good quality leather. I don't know which of these, this one probably has a better tag. So hopefully you can see that even like the heel has a leather on it. I think this is the size, but I'm not 100% sure. So I will have to look into that. Um, they have like a stretchy back. Again, I don't like love these, but I do love what I think I'm going to be able to make on these. Um, I actually got them in this red color as well. So this one is like black and kind of green. And then this one is like more red and yellowish orange color. So these were at the same place. They both say 40 on the heel. So I'm assuming they're from the same person. And it just kind of makes sense. And yeah, so I'm excited for those. I actually was gifted, gifted these. Um, they came from somebody who bought them and then never wore them. Just so you know, all of this still needs to be cleaned and steamed before I can um, get it listed. Some of it has already been washed, like if it came from the bins, but it still needs to be steamed. So it's wrinkle free and looks good for photos. Anyway, these um, Circus by Sam Edelman, super cute, bow details, slip on heels. I just think these are so cute. These are a size 10. And you can tell, I mean, they might have been worn once. So, anyway, I just thought they were really cute and you can't beat free. So, there is that. This next item I got while we were in, while well, we, we is me, only me. While I was at the bins and it was actually my first find of the day. So, very excited for these. Birkenstocks. I have not done any research yet. I personally don't wear Birkenstocks. I don't find them to be comfortable. I have very flat feet and so the arch is just too much for me. Um, they are size 9. I never remember if this foot being open means narrow or regular. And Anyway, I didn't do my research. I think these are the Arizona style, but I could be wrong. So my average cost of goods, a dollar. You can't beat really good condition. Here's the other one. Birkenstocks at the bins. Next is an accessory I got. It's this like braided leather like bolo tie. I love this. I think this would be so cute with just like a button down shirt. Has like um, a fun bohemian western accent to your outfit. Next, also from the bins, is this scarf. I believe this, I'm not gonna open it all the way. I believe this is an anthropology brand. At least that's what I could find on it when I looked it up. Wallace Sewell, Sewell. It's a silk cashmere blend. Um, I don't know that I'll get like a whole lot for it because I think when I researched this in the bins, there were quite a few of them up but I figured it would be a nice like bundle piece for somebody who maybe wants to bundle it. Well, next we have these really cute desigual. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't actually know. Boots, here's the bottoms. They're in really good condition. These were, I think like 30% off um, at the store that I was at. These were from a regular Goodwill, Goodwill store. This is factory 
distressing. I was not so sure about it when I was in the store and getting ready to pay what I paid for these, which wasn't a whole lot, but getting ready to pay for them. But from doing my research, it looked like the, it was meant to look like this. So I picked them up. I think they're really cute um, and we'll see how they do. The last pair of shoes is this really cute pair of ballet flats with like a metallic kind of sheen to them. The brand is Vionic, which is a comfort shoe brand. Um, they're in really, really good condition. I really enjoy selling Vionics. I've sold a lot of them. They sell they sell quickly for me. They sell for a decent profit. So I was excited to find those. That's all I have for shoes and accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and move over and we will start on the clothing. Again, a lot of this is from the bins, but I will let you know which pieces. Starting with this one. Just little Nike Pro Shorts. Um, I don't find these often. I actually stumbled across four or five of them in a Goodwill the other day, but the price that they were priced at was just not worth it for me to grab them. So I was happy to grab these in the bins. They are a size small. Hopefully you can see that. Next is something I picked up at a normal Goodwill store. I had never heard of this brand before. Let me show you the brand first. Luna Luce. I don't speak Spanish, but I feel like that means like moonlight. Um, it is made, let me show you. It is made of like a silk organza is what the fabric tag says. I could just tell that it was quality when I grabbed it. Um, just kind of flipping through the skirts. And then I looked it up and comps were pretty good. And also like we're in the beginning of fall right now. It is the second week of September when I'm filming this. And I think this could really do well around Halloween. You could wear this as like part of a fortune teller outfit or witchy or maybe this is just your everyday aesthetic. I don't know. I really like it. I couldn't wear it because I'm not shaped for this in my opinion, but that's why I picked it up. So the next thing I grabbed in the bins was this maxi skirt in a suede genuine leather. Very cute. It's got a large slit in the back. It's kind of like patched together, fully lined. I've never sold this brand before. I don't think it's anything special. Real clothes. It's a size six. But I really like the style. I think it's gonna be really good for the trends that we're seeing right now. And I like the color. Like I like that it's just a black leather skirt. For me, it's down to my ankles. Um, I'm pretty short, so I don't know what that really says. It's probably like a me. It's probably like a midi length skirt for most people. Anybody taller than me. Next, I have this pair of leggings. It does have some light. I will hit this with my sweater shaver. Um, I don't know what to call it, fuzz, on the seams right here. Cute black leggings. I don't know that you'll be able to see this tag, but I'm gonna show you anyway. It is my second time finding this brand. It is Girlfriend Collective. And it is a size small. I don't know the name of these leggings or anything like that. This piece is also from the bins. Here are just a pair of gray, like outdoor pants. They are convertible right here. You see they have a snap, so you could turn them into capris if you wanted to. Really good for transitioning in and out of different seasons. They are Marmot and they are size extra small. I like selling Marmot. I've sold it a few times. Uh, I don't ever get like a ridiculous amount for it, but it sells okay for me. Um, and in the bins, even if I get 20 bucks, I'm super excited about 20 bucks from the bins. 
this piece is actually something that I picked up to take to Plato's. Um, they are a size small, as you can see, so they're still new with tags. They are Champion Organics. Hopefully you can see that. Let me pull out the other one. That's probably easier to see. In ice blue, size small. Um, again, I actually picked this up to take to Plato's. They did not accept it, which is fine. Um, I will sell it on my own and I have no problem doing so. I, when I go to the bins, I personally like to pick up things for Play-Dohs while I'm there. I'm there anyway. I hate seeing the amount of waste that we have. All these things are going to the landfill if somebody doesn't pull them. At my particular bins, I feel like we have a lot of vintage sellers. Maybe a couple of Poshmark sellers, but not, I don't feel like we're flooded with people who are looking for what I'm looking for. So when I'm there, I just pick up stuff to take to Play-Dohs and every two or three times I go, I have enough then to take to Play-Dohs closet, get some of my money back on my haul. The most I've ever made out of Play-Dohs was $385. And that was just between taking in bin stuff and sometimes I'll take in my steel inventory. Um, the last time actually that I went to the bins was not great. I walked out with probably 30 or 40 pounds of stuff, which is pretty good, but when it's, I got home and I started going through it, probably 85% of it was for Play-Dohs. So if I hadn't have been looking for Play-Dohs stuff, I don't think it would have been worth my time to be there for that long, because even the things that I kept weren't like amazing, they were just good enough. Um, so it really, in my opinion, pays off to just pick it up while you're there, because why not? At the bare minimum, you've picked up some stuff to make some money back, so. But that's just my opinion, that's just what I do. So next we have something I actually bought for myself, tried on, did not care for. So I decided to sell them. They are these really cute, plaid pants with like a jogger elastic in the ankle really long I'm noticing and I noticed when I tried them on they are missing there was a chain that was supposed to go right here and connect to the other side it is missing I noticed that's common for these pants when I was looking at comps it was just something that happened a lot I guess um, but the brand is I am Gia it is a size large. Um, I was super excited to find this brand. I don't, I've never found it before. I heard it does really well. I've seen really good comps on some pieces. These don't have like the most amazing comps, but still really good compared to what I paid for them. So I'm happy to have them, happy to sell them and try out the brand for myself. Um, yeah. So next two pieces I actually got in the bins and i'll just show them to you they are these rock revival jeans these ones have a raw hem and these ones are not as blingy as most of them are these are a size one moment these are size 27 jessica skinny and then on a separate trip to the bins i found this pair of rock revival jeans these ones much blingier missing a couple of gems on the pockets but i don't think that's a big deal and they are like the regular pockets meant to look like flat pockets these are called victory's boot and they are size 24. now i picked both of these up to sell at play-dohs play-dohs did not take them they said because of the low rise which I thought they would because I think that that's trending right now, but maybe it just doesn't sell well for my particular location. I don't know. This is the only time I've ever picked up Rock Revival. I've seen it a few times, but my Goodwill loves to mark Miss Me and Rock Revival jeans at $35. I will not ever spend that on them. So for a dollar a piece, happy to grab them. Next up is a brand I don't always pick up. It is Paige. 
these are a size 25 so kind of small but they're in excellent condition raw hem on the bottom typically with Paige you'll see the like rippling right across the thigh crotchal region um, but these ones are practically unworn I mean they're in fantastic condition and so that's why I picked them up because um, when they are in good condition Paige does okay for me and these were cheap enough that it was worth getting Next are these really dark wash skinny jeans by Rag and Bone. They're a size 26, so pretty tiny. Um, not like super tiny, but pretty tiny. Um, yeah, I just really like the coloring on these. I don't pick up all Rag and Bone jeans. I probably wouldn't have picked these up if they were even $2 more, honestly. Um, it's just... I feel like Rag and Bone is kind of falling off as far as resale value goes. So we'll see how these do. They were cheap enough and uh, in really, really excellent condition. So. so on that binge trip where I didn't find a lot for myself, you'll see that I was almost getting like desperate. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm in the bins and I've been there for a little while, and I feel like I'm not doing very well. I have a tendency to pick up and put into my cart things that I might not normally if I was like not feeling so desperate. So, sorry, I just got off the phone. Hopefully I edit this together okay. Um, anyway, blah, 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 get desperate. So I picked this up. And it's just like a little nighty. It's got a really cute ruffle hem. It's got like, I don't know what you call this. It's a really subtle floral print. A little doohickey up here. Now, I I like the gold label Victoria's Secret. I like gold label Victoria's Secret. I feel like it does pretty well. Um, I just don't think like this is the piece that's gonna do really well. For me personally, I'm sure it'll do fine. But it's got like little fuzzies, little pulls. Um, it's a size medium. So that's what I mean when I say I probably wouldn't have normally picked this up. Not because the brand is not good or the piece is not good, but the condition is not as good as I like to have. But it's not bad. Like it's also vintage. So what are you going to do? Next up I have this really cute mini dress. It's got pockets. It's got like the v-neck with a single butt enclosure. It is a free people piece. I did pick this up at the bins. I don't know how well this will do, but even if I get 15 or $20, because it's free people, I'm happy. Back to wearing no gloves. This, I'm sure lots of you will recognize as a Lululemon. I want to say this is the Power Y top. Um, this piece is actually inside out when I found it, but when I grabbed it, I just knew it was Lululemon. I've sold enough of it at this point that I know what it feels like, and I am not seeing a tag right off the top, the size dot, but I'm pretty sure it's a size four. Um, anyway, this is why I don't wear gloves, because inside out, there's no way I would have known that it was Lululemon had I not felt it. So next, I found these three for really great prices at a regular Goodwill store. Um, they, this brand tends to sell pretty quickly for me, not for like a whole lot, but pretty fast. So I picked up two <coughs> figs scrub tops in black and navy. Here's what it looks like. The navy is a small, the black is a small. And then I also got this figs top, which is a size medium. Really cute, big pockets on the sides. Right here it says, just saving lives, no big deal. I think that's really cute. And this one obviously has a spot right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the washer and see if I can get that out. But I just really like the style. And again, it sells fast for me. Another bins piece is this brand called Cut Loose which is like a lag and look brand. Um, I've never found it cheap enough and in a cute enough style for me to try. I have found it before, just nothing I liked. Not that I only shop for me, but 
as a reseller, I think that if you source things that you love and that you can get excited about, you're more likely to list them and then sell them to people who will also be excited about them. So I don't know how well this will do, but for being in the bins, I decided I would try it. The next piece I grabbed is this Moda International, which I believe is an old Victoria's Secret brand. Um, I could be wrong about that, but it is made of silk and nylon, but lots of silk. Um, and I just really like the style on this. I love these sleeves with like the lace top and then this silk bit with the eyelash lace on the bottom and then the middle piece. It was very like 90s Y2K to me, but also like dark romantic. I just liked it. This piece I also got in the bins. I would buy this a hundred times over in the bins. I don't know the brand because somebody cut the tag out. But to me, this is what brands nowadays are trying to go back to and revitalize style-wise. We have this gorgeous navy top with the buttons down the front. And look at these sleeves. I mean... I could not leave this. I don't know what size it is. I don't know what brand it is. There's a hidden zipper here that goes to about here. I could not leave this in the bins. It's just so cute. I love this. I hope somebody else loves it too. The next piece that I got is this J. Crew blouse. Um, I don't pick up all J. Crew anymore, but this is 100% silk and it has this really cute like Siamese cat novelty print. This is one of the older tags, not super old, but older. Um, the new one is in cursive. Let's see, this piece is from 2014, um, which normally I don't pick up anything really older than like 2018 if I can help it, but because of the print on this one, I did pick it up. Next up, we have another bins piece. It's this soft surroundings collared tunic top. I really loved the like different buttons down the front of it. Here's the tag. It's a size large, another like wagon look, bohemian style brand. Probably more like bohemian than wagon look, but a mix of the two. Anyway, I really just liked the buttons and so I decided to save this piece. Next we have an anthropology sweater. I don't think this is anything like amazing. Um, it's airy and alley. <coughs> I just thought it was really soft and for being in the bins, I would love to get, you know, 20 bucks for it. So another piece, you can kind of look at this piece and tell that it's good quality material, but also feeling it in the bins, I felt it and I could tell it was something special. And it is 100% Cashmere by Lord & Taylor. Not a brand I pick up all the time. I actually don't see it all the time, but most of the times when I have seen it, I don't think I've grabbed it. But this one is like a basic turtleneck, ivory, 100% Cashmere, no holes, which is rare when you're dealing with secondhand Cashmere. Um, so I decided to pick it up. One of the trends that I think we're going to see a lot, I know I've seen it, I know people have talked about it, is colored leather. Um, and so I picked up this Wilson's Leather Deep Forest Green Cropped Leather Jacket with an open front. You could probably get this to stay so that these match or close it, depending on how you want to wear it. Um, I just really like the style of it. I found it in the bins. There was no way I wasn't getting this piece. Now I got this uh, outdoor research piece also at the bins. Um, I actually just sold one kind of similar in black for I think like $50. Um, so it was a no brainer to me to pick this up. It's really super lightweight. Um, it does have, let's see, some like pilling right in this area, but I have a really good sweater shaver. I'll just shave that off. It won't take me very long. It's got a packable hood and this little like cinching contraption. So 
I think that there's a way to find the style name of these, maybe in one of these tags. I'm not sure. I know I was able to find it on my last piece, um, and I think that helped it sell, but regardless, I'm excited for that. Next in the bins, I got this Columbia jacket. It is lined with like fleece. It's a size medium. It does have a hood. It looks like it would be vented, but it's not. I'm not sure if this is, it's gotta be like, this has to be. I feel like this is a men's medium. This has to be a men's piece. Or not, I don't know, but I liked it. Next, we have this halogen piece. Halogen is not a brand I pick up all the time, but I really liked the style of this. Um, it's like a faint, what do you call it? Subtle, it's a subtle plaid print with this like faux fur detail. It feels like it's a wool blend. It is. It's a wool blend, 60% wool. Faux fur collar. Cute little coat. So I picked it up. It's actually really lightweight too, considering like, I don't know how heavy it looks on camera, but I was surprised when I pulled it out how light it actually was. Okay, another piece that I'm excited about is this really cute, it's just Jessica London, size 16, so part of why I'm so excited is it's a nice size, gray and purple plaid, oversized, like boyfriend blazer. You could button it all the way closed, or you could leave it open. I just thought it was a really cute plus size piece. I really like the colors. Next up, this was in the bins, but because it's so heavy, I actually paid for it individually. It was $5, which is cheaper than it would have been by weight at my bins. It's $1.49 a pound. Um, so I paid $5 for this Mark New York size large, genuine leather jacket, giant pockets. It's got two inside pockets as well. Um, I have seen a few of these listed for over $200. I don't know that that's um, realistic. I'm not sure. I don't research most of the things that I get in the bins because it's so cheap to go to the bins. I did briefly look this one up, which is why I know some of them are listed for so high. But my thought was if I pay $5 for it and there's more exactly like it listed for over $200, even if I list mine at half that and sell it quickly, I'll be happy because it is pretty bulky. Like I don't really want to hang on to this for very long. That's all. And last but not least, I picked up this really cute, it's Brave Soul is the brand. It's like a faux Sherpa long line jacket. I actually got it for myself. It reminds me a lot of a free people jacket that I've been wanting for a little while, but can't justify buying. Um, but it's just too big for me. It doesn't fit very well. So I'm not sure what size it's supposed to be. It says medium 12 40. Obviously it's not a 40 in American sizing, but I can't tell if it's a medium or a 12. I wanna say 12 like seems more realistic because it's just too big for me. And like normally I wear a medium to large, so if it were a medium, it in theory would fit better. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look up, see if I can find like a stock photo that shows how it's supposed to fit, and then I'll know better. But I just thought it was really cute. Um, just doesn't look great on me, so I'm gonna sell it. That is my haul, that is everything that I got between the Goodwill outlet and the regular Goodwill, and I'm very excited to get all these things listed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I will get back to you. If you're feeling frisky, hit that subscribe button. Follow along with my journey. See how this YouTube channel grows. If you saw anything that you're interested in, please feel free to check out my Poshmark closet. I will have it linked down below. I am the Painted Lotus on Poshmark. 
If you have any other questions or maybe you want to keep something secret between the two of us, feel free to shoot me an email. I will also have that down in the description box below. Um, you guys will see me next time. Bye.